Hi guys, um, so this is my first haul video and I wanted to do this video because I usually quite enjoy watching other people's um, art supply hauls. So yeah, I wanted to try it out for myself and I typically don't buy art supplies in bulk. Um, I just kind of try to spread it out um, a bit. But this last month I've been buying, uh, not a lot, but at least, well, more than usual. So I thought I would uh, compile um, the stuff I've bought recently into a video. Um, and it also, it includes some of my favorite art supplies. So, yeah, and um, if we do it chronologically, uh, the first thing I've bought is, whoops, maybe not that exciting, but this mechanical pencil, because my usual one is taped together, um, <laughs> falling apart a bit. And I quite like this one, so I kept using it. And I do um, prefer doing my sketching with a mechanical pencil, because I don't, I feel, have a bit of control of this fine tip and I also don't have to sharpen it so I guess I'm lazy and also I do um, um, like sketching in different color uh, lead so um, yeah it's just easier with a mechanical pencil and I did get one in um, the August uh, scroller box, but yeah, I, I, I just, just, it just feels too light for me, so I can use it. I put my red lead in it because that I don't use that that often, and then I have normal graphite in this one, and then um, this new one, which is quite heavy to the feel. Um, I put my blue lead in, and um, it's a Pentel Graph Gear 500. Yes. And I just bought that because it felt nice in my hand and looked like it was good quality. And I just bought it at a local stationery store. Um, so, yeah. And to go with that, also I bought, I bought, I, I ordered some stuff from Amazon and this is one of them. Uh, some more blue lead because I recently started using colored lead and to sketch with and I tested it out um, by buying a pack from Amazon including these um, three different colors in one package um, so green blue and red and I find that I like the blue one the most, um, but it's nice to have the other ones as well, kind of if you have a very detailed um, sketch, so you can kind of differentiate the different um, parts of the drawing by, by using different colors. Um, of course, the disadvantage of using these is that they don't erase as easily as graphite, but they don't smudge either, so yeah. I guess it's just a preference matter. Um, and this was the cheapest blue lead in 0 0.5, as the other ones here, I could find um, on Amazon. So, yeah, I assume it's more or less the same. Pencil is usually... I find it's a good brand, so... Ah, this is not as easy to open as it looks. Well, at least it'll last longer if I don't know that. Yeah, but I wanted to avoid um, running out of this. Um, so I just wanted, it wasn't that expensive. So I just wanted to order it while I was ordering some other stuff as well. And it was an add-on product. So ah, let's just see. Ah. Why is this not opening? Oh, okay. Ah, neat. <laughs> okay, I'm 
I'm stupid. Okay, so now I feel stupid <laughs> because this is just normal graphite. But it just said they had it in. Okay, so the color that was stated on Amazon must just have referred to the color of the container because they had it in red and green as well. Okay, so I just bought some expensive graphite. Oh, sorry. <laughs> graphite refills for my. Okay, well, that's neat. It's not like I don't have some of those already, like here, that I don't use that often anymore. Well, okay, now I know. So now I need to buy this for the next time, I think. Okay, well, okay, so other stuff I bought was these. Um, I didn't buy those. These on Amazon, but at a local art store, um, which is, by the way, the only one I've been able to find in Copenhagen that sells um, single Copic sketch markers. But um, yeah, I usually order mine online anyways because it's cheaper, but it's nice to have the option to buy a single one if you need a single specific color um, for drawing that you're doing. You don't want to wait until the next time so and he also has the nibs um fairly cheap actually they're about one pound each so three pounds about three pounds for a set of three and i do need to replace the nibs for some of my markers um i did change in three of them already and i think more needs to be the ones I'm using quite often. I've been using markers, uh, my Copic sketch markers for about a year and a half now. So some of them needs some replacing. Unfortunately, he only had one. I would have liked to buy two. So I had some extras lying around. Anyways, yeah. And then I bought ooh, this thing. This is exciting. And you may think this is clearly some old refills uh, that have been opened and stuff. This is not something that you bought right now. And you're half right. They are used and have been opened. But I just bought them because I... So they came with this uh, <laughs> nice uh, bag. Um, by mail and I bought them secondhand at a website, a Danish website where people can post all sorts of stuff and sometimes you get um, collections of Copic markers. Uh, typically I would say that it's the classic kind, I guess because they've been on the market for longer and especially um, availability of the sketch markers limited here in Denmark. So. Yeah, but the refills are the same no matter what. So I keep an eye out for um, refills for sale. Also, since they're typically more expensive than the markers. And I found, um, so I found a girl who had some markers, different kind of markers and fine liners and these for sale. And I asked her if she was willing to sell just all of the refills for me. And luckily she was, so. I got 21 or actually well 22 but one of them is like yeah I don't think I feel a bit cheated with that one. Oh, not it's not even this one this one is almost empty but yeah one of them is like what I would almost call empty I don't know where it is right now so 21 at least and then um, even though you know, some of them are actually still in their plastic um, and have never been opened. A few of them, I think there was three, or oh, at least these two. And um, some of them are almost full or basically full and some of them are close to empty. But 
I did get a good price, so I'm quite happy about that. And with markers, I don't use on every drawing. Uh, even a half full refill will take me a long way um, because there's quite a lot of ink in them to begin with. Uh, I use the sketch markers. So, and of course, there are quite a few colors here that I don't have the markers for yet. Then I have an excuse to buy them now, and I will most likely get them. And there's a nice, ah, there's a nice range of the um, warm grays and a few cool grays, which is good because I use those all the time. So, and I have actually filled up one of my warm grays that ran out just after I bought this um, just by coincidence and I didn't have a refill for that one so that was pretty nice and I knew I was needing this um, E43 and the supplier I usually buy my refills from which is uh, in Japan because I get a good deal um, doesn't by some reason have this available not like just that it's just out of stock or sold out right now. Never. It's not, it's never available. So I would have to buy that from another website where I've bought some from previously, but they're twice as much and I would have to pay for shipping as well. So that one would just get ridiculously expensive. And it's a color I use quite often. Um, it's uh, one of the colors I use for blonde hair. So um, yeah, I and it's really dry, the marker. So just by buying this one in, in here just saved me a lot of money. So it's okay that, that some of them are close to empty or only half full. And this is almost, I don't know if you can see it, but it's filled up to here. So yeah, I, f I felt that I could get a good deal and I think she was happy to get rid of them as, as she was selling all of her markers. So, yeah, I think that's nice. So, unfortunately, I still have some markers that are almost empty with some colors that I don't have refills for, not even with this selection. So I have to buy soon from um, my usual supplier. But then I think I'll also buy a few new markers as well so this and funnily enough this was one of those i've planned i've been planning on buying um, so it's nice to have a refill for that as well i think it's so pretty yg 95 that 90 range that's such a a pretty uh, green color yeah anyways let's decide with those Okay, so the rest of the stuff is from Amazon. There's not much left. Um, I bought some, yeah, a bit boring stuff. Some new paper. The same as I have used in my last mini videos, which I have come to love. This one is my preferred uh, brand so far of Bristol board paper for used with my Copic sketch markers and I will do a paper review video soon if I haven't already posted it at the time of this video will be uploaded um, so I'll talk more about that but so far this is my favorite brand and I uh, don't have many left it's only 20 sheets in a pad so um, the one I have which is the same size as this A4 um, yeah, it's almost empty, so I wanted to get some new one before I ran out, because that's just annoying to wait for. And because I now know that I really like this paper, I also got a larger pad, A3 of the same brand. This is also 20 sh sheets, um, so now I can do some bigger drawings. I just have to figure out what. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then I bought something new for me. So I have two items left, and these are related to each other. So I bought, yeah, 
I got this today, um, this package, but I couldn't wait, so I had to open this up and take a look, but now I can remove it completely. Um, I have been wanting to try out the Prismacolor uh, color pencils because I've heard so much about them, and I've only used um, the um, uh, Faber-Castell um, um, Polychromas um, for my color pencil drawings. And it's been a while since I've done anything with uh, color pencils. Um, I haven't got any videos on my channel uh, with it either. So I thought I might take up playing with color pencils a bit um, again. And yeah, I feel that the um, polychromos, they're because of the hardness of the um, of the what do you call it, lead inside um, they're good for finer details but I do like some of the color pencils I've tried like um, the ones I use for white highlights yeah I can't see the brand on this one I think I have one more yeah this is the same like fervent drawing which are quite soft and I do like that because it's oh yeah there it was um, because it's um, easy to blend and I think it would be nice to maybe have a combination of the two so polychromers for finer details and um, maybe the soft ones for something like when you you want some smooth blending of the skin and stuff so I just started out buying this um, small set just to try them out and this is the um, portrait set as you can see and it has 24 colors so yeah two layers here so there's a whole range of different colors hmm oddly enough there's no grays i usually use um, warm grays for my shading um, when i do skin tones but yeah there's a nice range i think of light and darker colors so we'll see and for now it's mainly just to test out if i like them or not um i've heard a lot of bad things about them breaking easily so which is also the reason why i bought a pencil sharpener to go with it that also has um so this one was recommended by several people on Amazon and it has something I didn't want to I don't know how much I'll be coloring with um, color pencils so here in the future possibly depends on how much I like these but so I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a mechanical sharpener but if I like them I might that might be the next step but this one has the advantage that you can choose if you want like a narrow point or a wide point as these are shown here and I prefer the narrow point so um, and not all pencil sharpness give you that so that was one of the things I like and also that it has the container for the things that you've um, sharpened off so you don't make a mess of everything hmm. okay i think i need to try this now let's just see Oop. Mm -hmm. whoops Ooh, look at that Oh, and it feels like quite good quality wood here. Um, okay, so that would be interesting to try. I think I um, may make a video soon with some color pencil drawings. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so that's it for now. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my purchases.
see you next week.